one nil goal tonight. Must be pleased with your your evening's work. Um, yeah, I thought the first twenty minutes we struggled to get to grips with their with their shape. I thought they, they passed it really well, um, but we got together at half time and kind of we got well we got one nil up obviously and got together at half time and and fixed that out and um, yeah I thought it was much better defensively in the second half. Because overall, the team that created the most chances was, was Wednesday tonight. You're probably frustrated that you didn't see it out more comfortably. Yeah, I thought to the end of the first half, we had a few chances where we could have doubled our lead. But um, obviously, with the situation we're in in recent weeks, if you don't double that lead, you're always sceptical of, of obviously what's coming with what we've been doing this season. So, no, I think to see it out was obviously a big boost for the lads. And yeah, we're all happy. Was that genuinely something that was going through your head in the second half that you're aware of, particularly after last weekend? Not necessarily, but I think... You can see even subconsciously sometimes we drop back into shape instead of pressing the team on and I don't know. Um, I think we broke that cycle a little bit in the second half but even some parts of the game we was we went back to that and yeah that's what we need to, to kind of stop doing and um, yeah we're going we're gonna to try our best to do that. From that perspective then, seeing out a 1-0 win with the clean sheet and everything on the line, as a group you'll, I imagine you'll take a heck of a lot from tonight. Yeah, the uh, the spirit's brilliant, um, has been all season obviously we've just, the results have been really tough for us but um, no, tonight we've been uh, beating a really good side. I think home and away, they're probably one of the best teams we've played against this year, I'd say, um, even though they're not in a great position, but they're a really good team. And um, yeah, it was a tough match and, and we're happy to get away with a win. In terms of the goal, if you don't shoot, you don't score, get the deflection. It's probably what you've deserved after uh, recent performances. Yeah, um, I hit one cleaner with my left foot about two minutes later. That got blocked on the line, but um, that's just what happens in football. You sometimes take a shot on and It was a great pass from Cads, to be fair, a little, little setback. And um, yeah, I, I couldn't really miss. And that's key, isn't it, for the team right now, that you don't lose that belief, that you keep the crosses and the shots and everything else going to, to, to keep trying to dig yourself out of the position you're in. Yeah, we've obviously, we've been saying the last few weeks, but obviously it's hard to persuade people you're doing well when you're not getting, when, you, when you're getting beat. But um, since the manager's come in attacking-wise, I honestly think we've been so much better, creating a lot more chances. Um, obviously some weeks not, not taking them, but the, the, obviously the Cardiff game, and since then we've had a lot of chances and I think, I think we're starting to get a lot better. From a personal perspective, do you feel like you've been on uh, towards the top of your game over recent weeks? Um, I don't know because you always when when you win and you score, your performance gets highlighted a lot more. I think, but I feel like I've been playing well individually for quite quite a while now, and um, I'm always a confident player. Some people, obviously, if you're not getting beat, it always looks a, like a little bit arrogant and stuff. But I've always had belief in myself, and um, I'm doing my best to to play as well as I can. Because you've got to back yourself, haven't you? In an environment like this in professional football, if you don't back yourself, then who's, who's going to back you? I, I guess you're right, yeah. And um, I've always had that, that faith in myself. And um, as I said, I'm, I work hard every single day and I'm just trying to get better. It was a huge night, clearly. If results hadn't have gone for Wednesday tonight, you could have been relegated. But as it is, you're now four points behind Derby with, with three games to go. Do you feel like you, you've put yourselves in a position now where survival seems a little bit more realistic? Um, obviously, it was a massive night for us, um, and while there's hope, there's a chance, and, and I think this, this this group really does believe. And um, if we can if we can take it to the last day and, and keep winning, then you never know what's going to happen. But we just got to keep training hard and, and focusing ourselves. We've got a big two or three weeks coming up, and we need every player in there to, to contribute.